Hello fellow 7 days to die gamers, this is games for kicks and welcome to episode 31 of my second season Let's Play series. Last episode was a disaster, it was embarrassingly bad, so I, I really don't know. I could have done this probably a lot better. I think I was being very naive in uh, assuming that all these little pieces of wood I actually gonna hold back a feral horde of a tremendous size on day 28 but um, obviously I was wrong. So what I've done in the last couple of days uh, here offline is I got my stuff sorted out. I created chests, I put everything in. This book shot here I got from uh, melting down lead ingots because uh, remember I had all this lead ore that converted into tons of iron uh, of lead um, uh, what do you call it again of uh, lead scrap or whatever it is you know and it seriously 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 got me tons and tons I had like something like 90 uh, lead ingots in there and I converted all of them because I don't know if there's any other use for lead ingots into I turned them into book shots. So this is what they're for. They're going to be used for making gunshot shells. Now, what you see here is very interesting. I went to get the airdrop in one of my when I, while I was sorting everything out. I decided, you know what, I was going to go and fetch that airdrop, and it wasn't actually that far. It it was in this direction here, and I put there my flag, but it actually was around here. So it was actually much closer. I saw, uh, and the only reason I went for it is uh, while I was sorting out my things, I saw in the distance, right over here, something bobbing up and down, up and down, and I was like, could that be the crate? And it took me very little time to run over, so I got it. Anyway, in the crate, I found, and I left it in my inventory to show you, the McDiver's book. Yes, which is basically, now I can make scrap metal uh, uh, armor. Okay. So, which is brilliant. So, I'm assuming scrap metal armor is better than uh, uh, cloth armor. I also found an iron helmet schematic, which is brilliant. And I found, okay, the shotgun barrel I actually found in a purse, which was just down um, here. You will see this, they, they respawned. There's one purse here, there's another bag here, and there's a purse there. I think this is a duffel bag, this is a bag, and this is a purse. And the purse contained uh, the shotgun barrel, which is great. So, which is what I needed. So now shotgun wise, I have a short shotgun barrel. I have a shotgun barrel. With this sawn of shotgun, I will now make a shotgun receiver. Thank you very much. Which means now I have all the parts I need to make a shotgun. I have tons of buckshot to make bullets for shotguns, which is going to be exciting. I'm also think I have all the parts for a sniper rifle because look at this this wasn't the airdrop an SMG barrel and an SMG stock I don't know if that's enough to make one and a sniper stock so now I have a sniper handguard a sniper receiver and a sniper stock now if I look at my uh, crafting uh, sniper rifle I still need the scope okay fair enough the sniper scope and I need a sniper barrel now I will make molds of all these because the worst thing that can happen is you craft one of these from the parts, you lose it when you die and you cannot make a new one. And that's what I want to do with the shotgun as well. So I want to actually take these parts now. I want to... Oh, first of all, I want to learn this, okay? I just wanted to share this with you. I want to learn this, okay? And I want to... Well, no, I do the shotgun first, but then I learn the, the recipes and I'm going to see what we can do. I also found magnum pads in the same duffel bag that I found the shotgun barrel. And I lost my magnum, other magnum thing. I think it was the, I don't know what you call it, the, the part where all the bullets go in. The, I don't know what you call that. But I think that was the part that I, that I lost, that I found earlier. Now, that should be enough to make a shotgun. So if I'm looking at this right, shotgun... A shotgun, yes, we have the receiver, we have the barrel, and we can craft these two items. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mold, a uh, mold, mold, whatever way you pronounce it, for these two, again, for the same exact reasons, okay? So I'm going to make a shotgun receiver mold. There we go. 
and I'm gonna make a shotgun barrel mold. There we go. Now I can make these items non-stop, which is great. Okay. The short barrel mold I don't mold I don't really need because I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna make a sawn-off shotgun. And these parts here, the I need a shotgun stock, which I'm getting from this. And I need a shotgun pump, which I'm getting from here. So that's just wood. So now what I can do is I can go to one of those forges. I can... This needs 1.9 pieces of scrap metal. Is it scrap metal, I think, is it? I, I don't really know. I wasted all my iron bars, actually, right now at the moment to make... Um, let me just see here what this is actually all about. So this is two. It needs 1.9, so I should be able to make this already. So that's 16 seconds. Yeah, nice! Look! Beautiful! Beautiful. And after that I can make a receiver. And that is just beautiful. So, in here it goes. This is everything to do with my weapons. And I will put... Actually, I can have a separate chest for my gun piece molds because I have so many chests now. I'm gonna put that one in there when I'm finished. Okay, so that is made. Beautiful. Now, we put the receiver in there. I'm just gonna have to get some scrap metal. We're gonna sort that out in a little while. Excellent. Now, on to my um, armor. Yes, this book. Now, let's see what we learn when we do that. Scrap boots. Oh, well, we can just see it here, actually. If you type in the word scrap. Ah, uh, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Scrap boots. Scrap chest. Oh, this is awesome. Scrap gloves. Scrap helmet. And scrap leg armor. The scrap helmet just looks brilliant. Okay, now this is really awesome. Now, at the same time, also, I learned the iron helmet. Which you can see here, which is sweet. Looks like ah, oh, it reminds. Is it Tron? Or I don't know. This it reminds me of what is that movie? That sci-fi movie with the guy on his motorbike, and he he would go. Uh, he was kind of like a ghost or something, and he would play chicken with with cars, and and uh, and they would of course die because he wouldn't be real, and he would lure lure them into death. I don't know what that was called, but he had a helmet pretty cool like that. Anyway. What you can see down here is very interesting. So, oh sorry, my wellness has gone down because I'm not eating. Um, I worked so hard and get my wellness up and then now I, I'm not paying attention. So where are my drinks? Here are my drinks. Okay. So, let's um, have a bite to eat. Let's have a drink. Let's have a bite to eat. Nice. And... Let's have a drink. I will eat again because they're saying that um, the food or the drink that goes above the 100 uh, mark will actually stay there. You just won't be able to see it. So it's like it would be like here and it goes down from there, but you don't actually visually see it. That's as far as I could read from the notes. Now, uh, you can see I updated my farm. I kind of uh, uh, started uh, more potatoes here because I had four potato seeds. I. I'm working on a proper farm, so I can actually delete all this here and do a proper area for my bed and a nice chilling area for it with a couch or something. And I, I'm i building my new farm area down there, so that's going to be pretty cool. This is what I want to focus on mainly in, in today's video, on, on preparing for my farm. I'm really not concerned about feral hordes anymore because this house here, this building here is is solid. It's beautiful. It will withstand the pressure and I should have probably stayed here originally and what I will do is I will in this episode and the next probably focus on mining and Well, I will mine most of it offline so you don't have to worry about it and because I want to make these episodes more about Crafting and exploration and I just showed you a little bit of what I changed and what I updated which is always exciting so I want to explore over to the to the west to see what we're gonna see there and which is let me see that way is it or is it that way 
that way okay i want to go and explore there because you can see here i went a little bit here into a new area but never made anything of it and there's one here now up there we have i don't want to go really in, uh, well let's see where we get there anyway that's not the point now in this episode this is where we'll be exploring down here Ma actually i will go this road here i will go up there and then cut across once i hit the water to go here and see where we get anyway this episode i want to focus on this rebar frames rebar frames there we go and this will be um just for my farm okay and i will build actually with this metal trussing i will connect these two with a bridge so that i can walk across now i already measured approximately the the distance i want to leave three gaps okay i want to leave three as uh, squares as gaps as distinct gaps after that i want to have one of those one of those ramps okay so let me pick that up and that up now and that up there we go after that i want to have the ramps so which means this whole line here actually is uh, going to be useless anyway so i will have basically here a ramp let me collect that then th there will be the spike i want to have only one row of spikes as i usually have okay so i will have my spike here there we go and the other ramp would be then here and i'm just gonna make another one here spike ramp bomb here this will be my concrete wall so concrete concrete and here okay so this will be my concrete wall actually i don't know why i picked that up actually oh yes sorry um that's not true this is not where my concrete wall is gonna be because haha this is hey 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 who's making noise oh look at this somebody's trying to break into my old house wow there's actually a few guys in there well he's dead and he's gonna lose a ball right in the nuts and follow that up with another one and another one okay I'm gonna have to get closer because I have no idea oh hello thank you and uh, another one. Oh, I'm getting some attention here not sure why have I violated some neighbors code here why whoa, look at whoa 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 where are these guys all coming from okay guys oh holy macaroni look at that okay oh 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 wow okay um sorry guys i can't stay to play <laughs> you're kind of ruining my buzz here where did you guys come from wow hey look at that hello hello that is lovely where are you guys coming from that is lovely okay you guys just i just made a screenshot that's why my ui was gone yeah that's uh, <laughs> look at you guys i hope you're not destroying my wood like because i really would be annoyed with that now don't 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 destroy my wood wow that's interesting these guys really they must have followed me from that must be the feral horde that uh Toda got away um this one here i'm not really too concerned in them destroying anything here to be honest um this concrete is pretty tough i mean i don't have to repair anything yet here uh still not really having to repair anything um there was a little dip but yeah not really too concerned so yeah these guys will just die off slowly so i'm um, again not really too concerned and the metal trussing is easily fixed i mean wow it's not a big deal so 
Yep, I can just fix this, and now you're dead. There you go. Now the metal trussing, what I might do actually is... Uh, I might actually expand the space, uh, or build a wall around it or something, so they have another uh, layer to destroy, which I think would be a good idea. I think if I build a, a wall around my area, especially from, like, I think I want to build a wall, like, yeah, look, these guys are actually ignoring me now. Yeah, so they're not even coming from my house, they're just lingering around. I mean, that is just rubbish. Seriously. You, you're just being annoying now. Ah. Oh. They're literally, they're not even coming for me, they're not even attacking anything. That is really annoying. Because they're just, they're not even gonna go away. It's, okay, that, that must have been a roaming horde. I mean, there's no dogs, there's no cops, so there's nothing um, feral about them, and I'm an awful shot. There we go. Ugh. I really, I mean, this is good target practice, to be honest. Okay, yep, he's, he, he noticed me. The rest is still moving on. Ah, he's gonna die now anyway, so... I want their attention, because I want them to come to my house and start smashing it to bits, but, um... Hello? I want you guys, I'm over here. Can you just come on, that we can get this over and done with? Please? Okay. I'm right here. Look. Hey, here I am. Ooh. Come on. Smile for the camera. Now, ah, right in the boob. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't meant to shoot you there. I, I wanted to be more humane and shoot you in the face. That wasn't very nice. Oh, hey, jump up and down. Let's jump. Oh, look at that. Anyway, I better go down and repair the metal. Tr oh, the metal trussing is coming off, I think. It is coming off. No, it's not. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. Okay, I really, really love this base. <laughs> this is amazing. It's a pity I can't loot these guys through the, through this. Oh, no, don't want to upgrade the wood. Yeah, you might wonder why I leave that wood unupgraded. The reason I leave it unupgraded is because I want to take it out like this and be able to repair the, the block behind it. Okay, that's the idea. So... Uh, and it's usually because of the crawlers, because the crawlers have a tendency of attacking the block on the very bottom sometimes. And, okay, these guys are very annoying, because I cannot continue what I was going to show you guys. Oh. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. She has no interest. Women just ignore me. I mean, that is just so typical. Nice. And... Ugh, why is the roof in the way? Seriously. Nice. Okay, I think that's the last of them. And I just get this guy there. <laughs> Look, I'm hitting wood. That's just ridiculous. Why am I hitting wood? She's like, I had enough when I drowned myself. And I just shot her and she didn't get hit. No, nah, there we go. Now this guy's picking flowers. Let's just sort him out. Come on. Right in the buttocks. He's like, dude, what the hell? You shot me right in the buttocks. And another one for the face. Now we got both ends covered. Okay, hey. Let's do some picking up things. Okay, not much to pick up here. As you can see, this base is actually pretty cool. It it really, really... Okay, don't want that. Um, well, ooh. Okay, glass is good. Glass is good. Uh, tungsten, probably good. No idea. And what do we have here? A lady miserable. Ah, come on. 
Hey, hey, that's good. Yeah, I sacrifice that over this any day. Um, okay, excellent. Now let's focus for the rest of this again on what I was trying to build. Now, what I was going to say is here we have our wood spike. This is a wood spike. This is a wood spike and this is a wood spike. Okay. So, and this is where the these guys will be. There we go. Now, here is where the wall will be. Concrete wall, concrete wall, concrete wall. Inside the concrete wall, I will have a path which will go along this way. And this is why, why I had these things built up like that. And like that. Yeah, okay. Mm, okay, not working. Anyway. So this is where my path will go. Here, I will have my first row of dirt. Okay, so here will be my... Um, whatever you want to call it, um, dirt farm, whatever, I don't know. So let's just continue with this wall here across. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second here. Um, let me get the grass with the hoe. Okay, I should have done it with the left mouse. Um, I didn't want to really do that and hoe that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's... We can't merge anything. Okay. Yeah, we can merge these two. Excellent. So we can pick up the plants, the grass. Because I actually need the grass, believe it or not. Okay. So this wall here will go along here and um, will be the outside wall. Now, in here, this will be my farm, basically. So I want to have... Um, a walkway basically okay all around my farm because I just for, for, for looking I know I'm wasting a little bit of space but I just want it because it looks nice you know end of story now what uh, I'm gonna make a couple of more wood frames um, I need them later anyway so I'm not too there we go now these wood frames are basically where the path will be. So I'm going to have a path going all the way around. Now here in the middle, my path will come down and it will come down here as well. Now the middle part here, the reason... Is there is another zombie somewhere? Anyway, the reason this middle part here is also there is because this is going to be quite large and the roof has to be supported. So I need to make wooden beams across so this is a lot of farming area and I want to have a nice roof over o over that yeah now metal trussing is great if you okay this guy is really doing my head and so uh, uh, he's really disruptive yeah come on jump there we go end of story and while I'm at it might as well get you can I get you oh I, I got him but he didn't die wow probably hit him in the body instead of the head and again in the body so yeah body shots are not very good there we go okay I might um, okay what I want to do is I'm still kind of semi planning this okay so that's why you have to have a bit of patience with me I this will be the raised dirt now I've read comments now people saying oh you don't need to hold the dirt anymore to place um, to to place seed crow things I I don't know what that means does that mean I only need to hold dirt for corn and nothing else and not for plants or is it I don't need to hold the dirt anymore full stop if, if I don't need to hold anymore at all then I don't understand why they've added the feature in alpha 10 to hold the dirt I don't get it okay so um, I I'm gonna hold it because I just simply think it, it looks nice I like the way it looks when when you do that so I will have uh, uh, here my walkway my path and I will here on this one I will have my dirt 
Okay, here will be my raised dirt. And I indicate that with um, that. That's what these guys were for. Okay, so now I can pick these up. Oh, that was a bit eager. I keep doing that. I have too many resources. Okay, now. So here will be my raised dirt, and here will be my raised dirt, and here will be my raised dirt. Now, what I might have, and this is the the lower dirt, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, what I might do is I have, I might sacrifice this one here in the middle for, depending what I make the roof out of, for another path, a walkway, with... Uh, these p pillars in the middle this is what the idea of this is so this this will have the sorry this one will have the pillars in the middle that will support um the roof on top so i might actually do that um well i might as well keep it in line it was my in in that example there we go okay so this is where which they will go up and the roof will go on top because this means we have one two three four five in between which is actually very good now imagine this only a bit higher this is just me calculating that wood can only carry another six pieces of wood and if i have it that far apart it should work because if i have it that far apart here we go one two three four five so yeah if i have it that far apart Without the middle bit, it will collapse. It's not strong enough to to hold itself. However, if I do it with metal trothing, I should be able to do it, and it would make it look g more grander, whatever you want to call it. So I might actually do the roof with metal trothing, with a layer of wood underneath and a layer of wood on top, so it looks nice. And that would allow me then not having to sacrifice this guy in the middle because the roof will be very high and the whole thing would look quite grand and I just have this path here still in the middle for aesthetic reasons mainly okay so now that's the plan and this is why I have this raised um, these raised um, things there okay so let's pick up this and let's pick up this and um, let's put the rest of the rebar down there we go and what I will do is now that I gave you the basic idea of what I'm doing here I will do in the I will skip probably a day now where I will just focus on grinding non-stop for ore to make more rebar frame and of course more gravel and such that she basically we're all on the same page okay and when I come back next time I'm gonna have all the, re the, the raw materials and I'm gonna have some of this already built here to um, basically work on the farm so the next episode I might actually completely spend working on a farm and um, do that now I, I, I either want to do the farm or I want to actually do a loot run uh, I, th I I don't know I kind of have to guess what you guys guys prefer because like I said last time I have to kind of pre-record um, episodes just in case I can't make it at night so me asking you now saying what would you prefer is kind of pointless because by the time I record the next episode you haven't seen this one yet so this is yeah w when I record this episode I, I'm recording this episode just as I already have uploaded ready for publishing episode 30 so I'm one episode ahead in the moment um, it's my little buffer in case I can't make it one evening to record okay so I leave it like this for this episode and um, I hope you like my plans and I will set them into action I'm not really too concerned about feral hordes anymore I will leave this here as my main base and I will explore uh, different areas that I can explore within a day and come back to my base however if I find a very nice area where I want to stay what I will do is I plan a nice little outpost made out of uh, concrete and I will take enough resources with me in the first place in my backpack to build a nice little uh, concrete outpost not as big as this more like a five by five maybe with a couple of you know 
with the same setup and maybe two rows of, of uh, uh, anything that can withstand a feral horde basically okay so until next time leave comments let me know what you think of my plans and um, of this amazing structure which I'm gonna build which is gonna have loads of class walls as well so you're gonna be hopefully liking that and um, until then um, um, yeah, loads of class walls so the sun comes in so the crop grows and the corn and then I need to find corn at some stage because I found everything else except corn. So until then, this is Games for Cakes and happy gaming.